Hello, dear students, and welcome to a new lesson in English language for second intermediate level. Our lesson today is Lesson 2A, entitled History's Hall of Fame. You can find the lesson on page 14 of your student book. You should also use your mini whiteboard and marker or notebook and pens to do the tasks of this lesson. Now let's look at today's objectives. At the end of this lesson, the student will be able to identify some famous people of the past and their achievements, use the past symbol whether regular or irregular verbs in sentences, and write a short biography about a famous person he or she knows in Bahrain. Now let's get started. Can you guess who these people are? Well done. Let's look at their identities. The first person is Najib Mahfouz. The second one is Ibn Sina. The third one is Um Kulthum. And the last one is Thomas Edison. Now we are ready for task one. Match between the person and his or her information. We have four famous people. Which piece of information do you think matches each one? Let's look at the pieces of information. Was a famous philosopher born in 980 and died in 1037, was known as the Prince of Physicians. For the famous medical book, Al-Qanun, the canon. The next one was a famous inventor born in 1847 and died in 1931 was described as America's greatest inventor, created and developed many devices, such as the phonograph and the electric light. The third piece of information was a famous Egyptian singer born in 1830 and died in 1975, was given the title Star of the East, in Arabic, Kawkab al-Sharq, was considered as the greatest Arab singer. The last piece of information says, was a famous novelist and writer, born in 1911, and died in 2006, published over 50 novels and over 350 short stories, awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1988, the first Arab writer to be honored. You have two minutes to finish the task. Good luck.
Well done. I hope you've done it correctly. Now let's look at the answers. The first one, Ibn Sina. The second one, Om Kulthum. The third one, Thomas Edison. And the last one, Najib Mahfoub. Congratulations for doing this task correctly. Now, this task is followed by this mission. Read the information below, then answer the question follows. Number one, Najib Mahfouz published over 50 novels and over 350 short stories. Number two, Ibn Sina wrote the famous medical book Al Qanun, the Canon. Thomas Edison created and developed many devices such as the phonograph and the electric light. Um Kulthum learned how to sing by listening to her father while he was teaching her elder brother. The question is, what tense did we use to talk about the above famous people? You have one minute to answer this question. Well done. It is the past symbol tense. Why do we use the past symbol tense? We use it when we talk about an action which happened at a specific time in the past. We also use it for actions which are related to people that are no longer alive. Now, how do you form the past symbol tense? In the positive sentences. First, we have the subject plus the verb plus ed. The ed is only for regular verbs. Regular verbs are verbs that are followed by ed when they are formed in the, in the past symbol you will notice that the same form is used in the past participle for present, continu for present perfect and past perfect. If they both use ed, the past participle and the past form, then we have regular verbs. In the case of positive sentences, we have the subject first plus the verb plus ed. The ed is only for regular verbs. How do we know regular verbs from irregular verbs? Regular verbs are always followed by ed in the past form and the past participle. If we have ed in both forms, then we have regular verbs. For example, he published over 50 novels. They walked to the shop Yesterday, we have 
another class of verbs, which are irregular verbs, they are not followed by ED in the past form or the past participle form. Examples of irregular verbs, he wrote, which is the past symbol of the verb write, over 350 short stories. Another example, she slept, which is the past symbol of the verb sleep, late last night. In the case of negative sentences, we have the subject first and then didn't or did not plus the base form of the verb plus the rest of the sentence. Examples are, he didn't invent the microphone. She didn't like the song. I didn't talk to Ahmed yesterday. They didn't see the light. In the case of yes or no questions, we have the auxiliary verb first. Either did or didn't, plus the subject, plus verb in base form, and then we have the rest of the sentence. Examples are, did Om Kalthum sing in Bahrain? Did Najib Mahfoud publish novels? Did you see the film last night? In the case for WH questions, we have the question, for, we have the question word plus the auxiliary verb, whether did or didn't, plus the subject, plus verb in base form, and then we have the rest of the sentence. Examples for WH questions in the past form are, when did Thomas Edison develop the phonograph? Where did Najib Mahfoud live? Why didn't you repair the computer? What did you buy yesterday. Hopefully you are ready for task two. Now read the biography of Vincent Willem van Gogh. Then put the underlined verbs into their correct columns, whether regular or irregular. Vincent Willem Van Gogh is one of the most well-known artists in the world. He was born in 1853 and died in 1890. He created about 2001 artworks during his lifetime. His paintings grew brighter in color as he developed a style that became realized during his stay in France. During his brief career, he did not experience much success. He lived in poverty and he became famous after his death. You will have three minutes to finish this task. Good luck.
Well done, I hope you've done it correctly. Now let's look at the answers. The regular verbs in this passage are died, created, developed, lived. How did we know that? Because we have ed at the end of each verb in the past tense. Whereas the irregular verbs in this passage are only grew and became. Grew is the past symbol of the verb grow and became is the past symbol of the verb become. Hopefully you are ready for task three. The sentences below are given in the present symbol tense. Change them into the past symbol tense. Number one, Ahmed works in a bank. Number two, he gets extra money by writing stories. Number three, he wants to be very famous. Number four, he works very hard to achieve his goals. Number five, he doesn't have enough time to write on a regular basis. And the last one, I like him because he finishes his work on time. For this task, I will give you three minutes to finish it. Good luck.
Congratulations for finishing this task, hopefully correctly. The answers are, Ahmed worked in a bank. He got extra money by writing stories. He wanted to be very famous. He worked very hard to achieve his goals. He didn't have enough time to write on a regular basis. I liked him because he finished his work on time. Now we are ready for task four. Think about the biographies of the famous people that we read about previously. Then write a short biography about a famous person you know in Bahrain. You should include the following in your writing. The name of that person, his date or her date and place of birth, his or her personal life, his or her qualifications and experiences, and his or her famous works. In order to be successful, you should write about all the points. You should also use the correct tense. In this case, the past symbol tense. You should also spell correctly, punctuate well, by this I mean the correct use of full stops, commas, and other punctuations, and use capital letters whenever needed. You have 10 minutes to finish this task. Good luck.
Well done. I hope you have done it correctly. Here is a suggested answer. Ibrahim Bahar was born in Manama in 1956. He was the elder brother of the popular singer Ali Bahar. He was an actor, a theater director, and an educator of the same, at the same time. He graduated from the Higher Institute of Arts in 1982. He also received a postgraduate diploma in education from St. Joseph University. He participated in many theatrical works inside and outside Bahrain. One of his famous works was Sug al Mugasis. Ibrahim Bahar died in 2019 because of his kidney disease. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, I wish you all the best. Goodbye and God bless you.